Hey friends, we got another video for you for our cool people, cool shop tours. Man, I'll tell you what, this week was just amazing. We want to give a special shout out right away to Motorcycle Missions founder Crystal for hooking us up with the opportunity to meet Mr. Gofo himself. I'll tell you, sometimes we walk away from these interviews and I'm just pinching myself like, did this really happen? And this was one of those opportunities. This isn't just a motorcycle collection. This man eats, breathes, and sleeps motorcycles, and especially Italian motorcycles. But uh, let's check it out and see what Mr. Dofo had to say. Hey friends, it's Shane from How to Wrench, and we are having a special treat today because we are getting a tour of the Moto Dofo uh, collection, the real shop from the one and only Mr. Dofo himself. And I'm hanging out here with John from uh, Vapor Blasting, uh, Vapor Only Technologies, and uh, we just get a special treat, and you're going to tell us what's going on here. Uh, real quick note, this is where the Motorcycle Missions uh, latest bike build. Mr. Dofo, you've been kind enough to team up with uh, Crystal over there, and this is where all the magic is happening, huh? Yes, hi guys, welcome. Just come in, come in, I'll show you around. Uh, this Dang! Is my, this is where I spend some of my time, and here are some parts of the uh, Motorcycle Mission. We got the frame already powder coated. Oh, nice. All the pieces are arriving and this is what I do. This is where I spend most of the time. So this is heaven. What you guys are going to see in the video in a second too is just the scenery from here. This place is amazing. So are these all your favorites or current projects or? No, my favorites are in my living room, <laughs> which we'll probably see later. But uh, I have this uh, infatuation with Ducati singles. And, and this is where I really lately I'm putting all my energy. This was my first project of uh, Formula 3. So I couldn't afford to buy a real one. I ended up building a replica. Wow, look at the Very clutch. unique feature, yes. Look at Dry the clutch. clutch. Very rare to find. Factory or this is all added on to this? This is aftermarket made by some talented Italian person. Jeez, look at that. Um, not easy to find, but very unique feature. And that is a five speed, narrow case, very fast bike. We did 94 miles in that bike. Look at the vented brake. Right, even. because since this was a, a Formula 3 project, I did um, bought some aftermarket uh, drums for it. So cool. How'd you get mixed up with uh, Motorcycle Missions? Well, my, my daughter got involved with some of the uh, projects of that ladies and they asked me if I will help to, you know, to put it together. So I thought that it was a great thing to, to do and I, the, the girls are really nice and it's fun to see uh, you know, a long nail painted, very delicate, <laughs> you know, this is some way in it, or part of the frame, so. Have you had a chance to see the stuff we're doing with the motor? No, I saw pictures. Okay. I, I was out on a trip, so I just oh, got back right. last night, but... Uh, We've uh, made great I'm progress, so we're going to get it back to, to you. Yes. Man. Who does all your paint, then? I do. I have my own spray booth. Oh wow! Right, right there on the uh, next next door. So this is uh, one of the bikes that we're going to ride in August. Uh, the wife and myself we ride identical bikes. And I just replaced it a piston. I bought a new piston on eBay. It should arrive any time. And this is a 1957 175. It's the first model of the 175. Actually, the identical bike that I saw when I was probably 10 years old. Wow. And, <clears throat> and since then, I've been extremely attracted to. I think I own probably 15 of them. No kidding. Yes. Something that uh, go this way, I'm, so I don't familiar. I'm familiar with the bike. I can take it apart with my eyes closed. Here I have a project coming up. The next one, bought this in pieces. This is a 250. Probably, uh, According to the VIN number, it's a Diana, but the guy wanted to make it a racing bike, so mm -hmm. he built some homemade scoops, and has an amazing, huge carburetor, 
I don't know how we're going to fit this, but this is what he pretend to put together. Unfortunately, this gentleman passed away, and I, I, I was informed of the bike. I deal with the sun, and we end up getting it. So here it is. So ironically enough, Mr. Dofo, when I moved here from Iowa a year ago, I had started collecting these 250s myself with a dream. I found a barn find in Iowa, and it was a complete accident. And so I got the first one, which led me to get, you know, two more. And one of the things I was fascinated by was the valve train, you know, from Ducati with the, the side-mounted springs. And I see that a lot of people make conversions. These heads aren't assembled, but which, which way are you putting it back together? Are you using the traditional well, valve spring or are you converting it? Those are extras that I got from this gentleman. Mm -hmm. But um, this cylinder head has had the modification because this is a bike that I ride a lot. I've been doing uh, California, Giro de California, which is mm. a three days uh, ride that we do with uh, bikes no bigger than 175 no and not newer than 1962, I think. So most of us, we ride pretty much identical Italian bikes. And this one, which is a really fast and very reliable bike, I did put the... Uh, the conversion on the on the head. It's somebody from Hisperi, I think, is doing it. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I'll tell you one thing: the, the, so the original funny. springs are very reliable. Are they, they work very well. Do you have one handy there? Uh, John, have you ever seen this before? This is so crazy. Mr. Stoffel, you can definitely speak over me. So the whole system is all gear drive, no chains. So when you, if I can go look at this motor here. When you see this cover off here, it yeah, is like absolutely, Caesar. it's absolutely a work of art. It's nothing but gears all the way up. And the first time I saw one, I was just so shocked because I was, I was used to traditional Japanese machines that are chain, you know, chain driven. So they had, you know, overhead camshaft all manipulated by gear drive the whole way. So that, that 860 GT of mine that I was showing you in, uh, at my shop, mm -hmm. imagine is, hold on. Imagine it's just two of these cylinders. They just have a neat sound. They have the gear wind to it. And so, so it's more accurate, correct? Like with its well, it, it is and it isn't. Because uh, in 1956, when they released uh, a model called Mariana, and they used it to do the Giro d'Italia, which was a street race, the factory already knew that when you have used it, sometimes the springs will break. Mm -hmm. So the, the, they modify the cylinder head with no cover. And the bike came with a set of spring hanging from the side of the frame. No I way. have a, a, a replica of that particular bike in my living room and it, we go upstairs, we're gonna show you. No way. And then you can see exactly how they work. So they probably knew that it wasn't the best of it design, but uh, it was there and they they only did it for I don't know 57 to 72 which they keep widening the cases and adding oh, CC yeah. up right. to 450 so right there I have a uh, a 250 but it's a Desmo head so already on the late 60s or early 70s Ducati came out with... Uh, that's a Desmotronic? That's a Desmotronic... Uh, in a 250? Yes. No kidding. Yes, yes. Very unusual. It's fantastic. I mean, that that monster, or not monster, the 900 Super Sport, the red one I have, that's what Ducati was really... I, I shouldn't say that's what they were known for, but we all tend to think of them because of the Desmotronic valve train that ultimately came out and was their staple signature mechanical Right, design. right. I mean, it was not really developed by Ducati. The Desmo was late 1800. Peugeot already had a cylinder head with Desmo uh, valve. And then Mercedes used it. And no later on, on the 50s, uh, he adapted to the Ducati motors and they still run into that because it is very accurate and the spring never bounces back 
even at a high RPM. Right. It's practically mechanical. Yeah. So why don't we go up to the living room and I show you a couple of What do we got here? What's this from? Oh, this is from um, when we race every year. Uh, we race with Arma Vintage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of the singles. Okay. Right. So we... Um, we got, uh, you know, we got better, and now we are in the front. Very cool. All right, well, we'll keep on with your tour here. All right, Mr. Dofo, you said you had another treat for us? Yes. I uh, was lucky enough to meet um, one of the inheritors of uh, Panasonic Hero. We used to race uh, in the cars here. Talking to him one day, I, I knew that he had a couple of uh, all Indies in his shop. So I asked him, and he asked me for a look at the scramblers. So we traded. I'm teasing the camera and going pretty dang slow with this. Yeah, this yeah. is mind blowing. <laughs> Did we really just drop the trailer and this is in it? Yep, it was here. Oh my God. And you said this has a Hayabusa motor? Yes, it has. Close to 300 horsepower. It's not turbo, and it moves. It moves. So you've got to operate it. I'm sorry. You've got to run it. Of course, I do track days with it. <laughs> <laughs> Say that one more time. You've got to run it. Yes, and I do track days with it. Yes. <laughs> of course. I race. Of course. I race SCCA. I okay. just got my racing license. Wow. We also race at CRX Honda. Smell the race fuel. Sounds good. God, look at the brakes and everything. Yeah, it's a little overkill. But it's such a beautiful car. Oh, man. We're going to keep looking around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my living room. And as you can see, I had a couple bike parked here for a while. And then more. And then another one. I'm going to stop talking about anything that I have. <laughs> oh. Did you build the living room for the motorcycles? Actually, yes. The shelf, um, I needed space for the fourth bike and so I got rid of the TV set and we built the uh, shelf to park that very special uh, twin con. Italian music I can play. Go. It's alive. That's an excellent. Because it's not a what? It's not a paperweight. You know, it's a living room queen, but functioning. <laughs> so do the others, you know. The uh, that is a very unique bike that you need to see. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have seen it before. So, thank you for sharing that with us. All right, my friends, there you have it. And I, I've said this before, but Mr. Dofo, thank you so much for taking your time and literally inviting us into not only your shop but your home and uh, connecting with us on what you've done and all the history of not only the, the motorcycles themselves, but your history and what your story is behind it. We think what you're doing is awesome, fully hotter wrench supported, can't wait to do more with you in the future. And Mr. Dofa, we can't say it enough, but you are one ridiculously cool dude. Thanks for everything that you're doing, and as always, keep wrenching. Hey, what are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up.